The human ear allows us to hear the sounds around us, and these people are opening up their ears to listen and meditate to the noises of the city. It's what they call a sound walk. The kind of listening that you learn on sound walks teaches you a sensitivity towards how you personally perceive things and how you react to them. So it gets you into a much deeper complexity of listening. The sound walks are guided by the Vancouver Sound Walk Collective, and each walk has its own theme like this one, about the sounds that could disappear if the Georgia Viaduct is demolished. The idea of sound walking is, is basically to uh, re-engage with the world around us and with uh, urban issues, with social issues, with cultural issues, to sort of quiet down and, and just listen. The sound walks are organized by Vancouver New Music that promotes different forms of sonic art. It's a really great way to get into uh, a meditative space that's a little bit different than what you experience in your everyday. Sound walkers that have tried it say it helps them shift into a different mindset. I'm a very visual oriented person so it opened up a new perspective, made me think about things in a different way. Experiencing being quiet and experiencing the sounds uh, around us that we tend to overlook when we're just lost in our daily routine. The Vancouver Sound Walk Collective will hold another sound walk in the spring. Danielle Carr in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.